Hello Internet, I'm Mihai. It is the sixth episode of the Jenkins Pipeline tutorial. Let's start. In this video I will install and configure Jenkins. The plan is to install Jenkins, configure system users, install plugins, configure global settings. Let's install Jenkins. Open the browser and search for Jenkins. Open the first link. Click on Download. In the LTS table, click on Ubuntu Debian. Here we have a big instruction. Let's follow it step by step. Open VirtualBox and search for your server. Start it headless. Wait two minutes. The server should be running now. Open the terminal and connect to your server. Write SSH, your username, at and the IP of your server. In my case it is 192.168.050. Enter, write the password, enter. I'm connected to the server. Let's start the installation. Open the browser and copy the first command. Past it, enter, write your password. Copy the second command. Enter. Copy the third command. It is sudo apt get update. Copy the apt install command. In the previous video I installed the GDK, which stands for Java Development Kit. Here, Jenkins developers suggest installing GRE, which stands for Java Development Environment. Java Development Kit already contains Java Development Environment, so I don't need to install GRE. I already have it inside GDK. Copy the command. Paste it. Before I install Jenkins, I want to update all other packages. Run sudo apt update I have 53 packages to upgrade run sudo apt upgrade accept click ok click ok again the packages were upgraded. Check again with sudo apt update. All packages are up to date. Now I can install Jenkins. Open the browser and copy the last command. apt get install Jenkins. Past it, enter. Yes. Click OK. Click OK again. Jenkins has been installed. Open the browser and write your IP. Mine is 192.168.050. Colon. The port number of Jenkins is 8080. Enter. Et voila, it is Jenkins. I need the initial password. It is saved in this file. Copy the absolute path. Open the terminal. Clear it. Write sudo cut past the path, enter, and this is the initial password. Copy the password and paste it in the browser. Continue. Select plugins to install. Scroll down, select rebuilder. Scroll down, disable and disable gradle. Scroll down. Disable GitHub branch source. Scroll down. Disable email extensions and mailer. Click install. At last the plugins are installed. Create your user. Write your username. Write the password. Confirm the password. Write the full name. 
and write some fake mail. Save and continue. Now you have to write the Jenkins URL. This URL will be used in Jenkins reports and will be written in Jenkins logs. If your Jenkins server is behind the domain, you can write here the domain. If it is not, leave it the same as it is in the browser's address bar. Save and finish. Congratulations, Jenkins is ready. Start using Jenkins. It is the Jenkins main page. I will configure Jenkins after I save all the instructions in VS Code. Open VS Code. Create install Jenkins.md file. And write hashtag install Jenkins. New line, download pages. Jenkins, open the browser and copy the URL. Paste it. Ubuntu slash Debian. Copy the URL from the browser. Past it. Create the shell block. Open the terminal and copy the first command. Remove the extra spaces. New line. Copy the next command. Remove the extra spaces. New line. Copy the update command. Copy the install command. Copy install Jenkins command. Past it. Save the file. Create Jenkins plugins block. Hashtag Jenkins plugins. And add the plugin we installed. It is Rebuilder. Check the preview. Open preview. It is the preview. Check the links. The first link is working. Check the second link. The second link is working. The commands looks good. The list of plugins looks good. Everything is good. Close the preview. Check git changes. It is OK. Close the changes. Add the file to the stage and write the commit message installed Jenkins. New line install Jenkins. Copy the commit message to use it later. Now press commit. Pass back the message. Jenkins is installed. Now I want to add my user to Jenkins group. This step is optional. It is not required by Jenkins. I do it to make the debugger easier. Open the terminal, clear it, go to var lib Jenkins. List the contents of the folder, write ls dash l, l will generate a table view, dash dash, almost, dash all. Almost all will print hidden files, but will skip current and previous folder information. Enter. This is the content of Jenkins folder. I am interested in first four columns. I want to explain why I need this information. Let's copy some random line, for example this line, open paint,
passed here the copied line and I will explain you what is going on here. So the last column is the file name. We are dealing with node monitors XML. The third column is the owner of the file. I want to make the line thicker. So this column, the third one, is the owner of the file. It means that the Jenkins user owns the node monitors XML file. The fourth column, it is the group the file belongs to. And the first column are the permissions. The first column, this dash, informs us of the type of the file. Open the terminal. You see nodes is a directory because it has here the letter D. But secret key is not a directory, it is a file because there is no letter D here. Go back to paint. The first three characters, I will select them. Those are the file permissions for the owner of the file. It means Jenkins user can read from the file, can write to the file, but cannot execute it. When the user can execute the file, the user will have the letter X. For example, here, letter X means the user can execute the folder. So it means the user can enter the folder and make some actions on it. The second group, I will select it with the blue color. It is the permissions for the group which owns the file. In our case, Jenkins group or the members of the Jenkins group can read from the file. And the last column, it is the permissions for all other users from the system. It means any other user can read from node monitors XML. Knowing this, I want my user to be a member of Jenkins group so that I have the permissions from the second column. It will make the debugging easier, but at the same time, it will weaken the security. Let's find out my username. Write who am I? My username is Mihai. Now I need to know to which groups I belong. Write groups. I belong to Mihai, ADM, CD-ROM, sudo, deep, plug dev, LXD, groups. But I don't belong to the Jenkins group. Let's change it. Write sudo user mod dash dash append dash dash groups the group name Jenkins and the username Mihai. In this case, the user mod command will append all the groups listed here, it is just only one group Jenkins, to the Mihai user. Press enter to run the command. Write the password and the command worked. Write again groups. I don't see Jenkins here because I have to reboot the server. But I can read the group file. Write cut etc group. Enter. And I see here that the Mihai user is the member of Jenkins group. Let's restart the server. Write sudo reboot. Wait two minutes. Let's try to connect to the server. Write the command. Enter. Write the password. Clear the logs. And let's check the groups. Now I see that my user belongs to the Mihai group, ADM group, sudo group, all other groups, and also the Jenkins group. Let's add the commands to the instructions list. Open VS Code. Create a new block. Hashtag add the user to the Jenkins group. New line. Scroll down a bit. Create the shell block. First, we went to the Jenkins folder. Let's find the command. Past it. We listed the contents of the Jenkins folder. Copy the command, past it. I checked my username. I checked the groups. I appended my user to the Jenkins group.
I checked the group file. I rebooted the server. And again, I checked the groups. Save the file. Take a look on the preview. It looks very good. Close the preview. Take a look at git changes. Everything is good. Add the file to the stage. Close the changes. And write the commit message. Edit the user to Jenkins group. Copy the commit message to use it later. Commit. And pass back the message. Now I want to install Jenkins plugins. Check if the service is running. Clear the logs. Write system ctl status jenkins.service. Enter. And the service is running. Press Q to exit this view. Open the browser. Refresh the page. Login again. Go to Manage Jenkins. Manage Plugins. Click on the Available tab. Search for ANSI Color. Select it. Search for Pipeline Utility Steps. Select it. So, the ANSI color will add colors to the console output and the pipeline utility steps will provide us with the functionality to read and write JSON and YAML files. Click on download and install after restart. Wait for it to finish. Click restart. And let's wait. Click on dashboard. Login again. The plugins are installed. I want to add them to the VS Code. Go to Manage Jenkins. Click on Manage Plugins. Click on Installed tab. Copy the ANSI color. Paste it in the VS Code. Search for Pipeline Utility Steps. Copy it, paste in VS Code, save the file, check the preview. Everything is very good. Close the preview, check git changes. Everything is good. Add the file to the stage, close the changes tab, and write the commit message. Installed Jenkins plugins. Copy the message, commit, pass the message to use it later. I want to make some global changes. Open the Jenkins page, click on Dashboard, Manage Jenkins, Configure System, find the Time Stamper. It is here, and click on Enabled for all pipeline builds. Now every job and pipeline will print the timestamp next to each log line. Find the ANSI color. Click on Advanced. Copy the X term and paste it in the global color map. Now, if available, Jenkins logs will interpret terminal colors. Apply the changes. I want to add the steps to VS Code. Open VS Code and write global config. New line, write time stamper and copy the text from Jenkins. Pass the text. New line, write ANSI color. 
Again, copy the text from Jenkins. Copy Xterm. Past it. Save the file. Check the preview. Everything is good. Close the preview. Open Jenkins. Save the configurations. Check the git changes in VS Code. Everything is good. Close the view. Add the file to the stage. And write the commit message. Edit global config. Commit. Jenkins has been installed and configured. Open the terminal and shut down the server. Write sudo shutdown now. Enter. Write the password and server is off. Open VirtualBox to confirm it. The server status is powered off. Now I'm going to push everything to GitHub. Open VS Code. Copy the path to your project. Open the terminal. And write cd for change directory. Pass the absolute path. Enter. Now I'm in the projects folder. I want to check git status. Nothing to commit, but my branch is ahead of the remote branch by four commits. I want to push everything to GitHub. Git push. The commits were pushed. Write git status. The branch is up to date with origin main. And now I will check on GitHub. Open the browser. Go to GitHub. Open the configuration repository. It is this one. Click on commits. Here are the commits I made today. Go back to the code. Go to Jenkins folder. Open install Jenkins. Here are the instructions. We can check if the link works. It works. And it is all. Now you have the Jenkins installed. Thank you for watching.